What makes one a hero? Heroism takes many forms, but today we will highlight the story of a war veteran whose courage and bravery were beyond imagination. He was a Vietnam War veteran, an American Vice Admiral and Aviator who was awarded the Medal of Honor among many other accolades. If you're like me, you find it hard to take in stories about soldiers' war experiences, but we hear them out anyway. After all, we owe our freedom to these heroes. And besides, these soldiers have a lot of good qualities that should be emulated. By the way, valuable lessons from these stories are also a bonus. James Stockdale is the start of our hero's story. A gallant military person, he was held nearly eight years as a prisoner of war POW in Vietnam. Before we move on, thanks for visiting our channel. We want to see you more here, so go ahead and subscribe to us. We promise to give you amazing video content. If you don't want to miss any of our uploads, we highly recommend that you ring the notification bell. Stockdale's story will shock and inspire you at the same time. Moreover, it will showcase courage and faith in their unimaginable form. He wore numerous combat decorations. The veteran's life will change dramatically and memorably starting on September 9, 1965. That fateful day, he was sent on what was supposed to be a final mission. While returning from this assignment, the light attack aircraft he was piloting was shot down, forcing him to eject to safety. He landed in a small village where villagers beat and captured him. He was immediately taken to the Hualo prison, better known as the Hanoi Hilton. The facility is also known for its violent treatment of POWs. It was there at this camp where Stockdale will spend almost eight years of his life in solitude. When he ejected, the courageous aviator suffered broken bones and wounds, but his determination was never tarnished a bit. At the camp, he wasn't given medication treatment, suffered malnourishment and experienced constant tortures. He soon was able to communicate secretly with other American POWs, urging them to resist the Vietnamese at all cost. The Admiral created a set of rules to defy the prison. The other POWs held on to these rules for inspiration, hope and strength. It was the guiding light which helped them endure their long ordeal. Stockdale was successful in organizing and leading POW resistance against the North Vietnamese. This is not to say, however, that Stockdale and the rest of the American POWs did not suffer tortures and harassment from the abductors. They did, and frequently at that. The day would come when Stockdale would come to know that the enemy was planning to parade him around town as part of their propaganda. He was the perfect candidate for this brutal public humiliation being the highest ranking naval officer held in captivity at that time. Stockdale then thought of distorting his appearance by cutting his own scalp and beating his own face with a wooden stool. Disfigured, he was well aware the enemies would not display him as a prize. One day, Stockdale learned that some American POWs had died from repeated torturing. During the climax of his resistance against the Vietnamese, Stockdale slit his own wrists. He wanted to show them he would rather die than give anti-American statements. This act would later be acknowledged as the Vietnamese's treatment of POWs gradually improved and tortures were ended. Finally, in February 1973, Stockdale and several other POWs were released from the prison. They returned home to the U.S. during Operation Homecoming. Soon after, Stockdale's heroism became widely known. He was awarded the Medal of Honor in 1976. Jim Collins, a management expert, met Stockdale and the latter made a huge impact on the former. Collins and Stockdale were talking one day when Collins suddenly asked Stockdale about how he survived Hanoi Hilton. Stockdale mentioned, I never lost faith in the end of the story. I never doubted not only that I would get out, but also that I would prevail in the end and turn the experience into the defining event of my life, which in retrospect, I would not trade. Collins was curious about the personal background of the POWs who did not make it out of the Hanoi Hilton. According to Stockdale, they are the optimists. He added, oh, they were the ones who said, we're going to be out by Christmas, and Christmas would come and Christmas would go. Then they'd say, we're going to be out by Easter, and Easter would come and Easter would go, and then Thanksgiving, and then it would be Christmas again, and they died of a broken heart. Then Stockdale finally blurted out, This is a very important lesson. You must never confuse faith that you will prevail in the end, which you can never afford to lose, 
with the discipline to confront the most brutal facts of your current reality, whatever they might be. Collins later referred to this concept as the Stockdale Paradox. According to Collins, it means confronting the brutal truth of the situation, but never giving up hope at the same time, believing that you will prevail in the end. That's also saying having the right balance of optimism and realism. What is your opinion on war heroism? Stockdale's story offers a valuable lesson about setting goals. He bravely weathered the harshness of his predicament. The veteran firmly believed that he would prevail in the end. Of course, he never failed to balance it with the right amount of optimism. He challenged the limits of human courage and intelligence in the face of adversities. You may be wondering how he survived everything. In the end, he did, and that's all that matters. He was able to come home to his family and his country and received the Medal of Honor, which he never bragged about even once in his life. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. We hope we inspired you today. We have more awesome video content for you, so don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Make sure to click the bell icon and never miss an upload from us.